my name is Pip and I hope this will be the first of many adventures. I don't know what to call this channel yet because every time I come up with an idea it seems that Nintendo or Steam have stolen it. I might get some inspiration during this journey. I've currently just left Salisbury which is quite surprising to just leave the train station and suddenly you find yourself in quite delightful countryside. Looks like a low wetlands with loads of streams and channels and gullies everywhere. A few downs, waterfalls. It's very pleasant. I might stay there some other time. Or even take the missus. But I'm making my way towards what I believe Shaftesbury Grove. I'm going to walk my way along the north of Cranford Chase. I've always wanted to go there uh, by myself, walking and exploring. I've been there a couple of times. Day today. It's going to be windy and rainy. It's definitely windy. Uh, fortunately, the rain's held off so far. It shouldn't be raining till probably this time. I should have found myself somewhere to camp in my admittedly dilapidated and incredibly old tent. Uh, I haven't pitched it in 18 years. So, if you want to follow this channel and um, I think it might be a good channel for advice and tips. Don't, <laughs> seriously don't. Um, I might be able to uh, show you some things. You might be able to pick up some tips from me because I have camped many, many times over the years from sleeping in ditches up trees. I've done everything. I don't usually camp with tents to be honest. I just like to take a sleeping bag on a pleasant weekend at night and just sleep under the stars. But um, the tent I usually use is um, it's a cheap affair, £25 from Sports Direct, uh, Gellert, I think the brand is called. And you know what? For a pop-up tent, it isn't bad. It's quite light. It's 1.6 kilograms. But it is flippy. You look like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle strapped to your back. But uh, I don't think it might be too much. Uh, it's it's going to rain. I'm looking forward to it. I do like sleeping in a tent like the rain. I haven't pitched in 18 years, so that's going to be fun. Anyway, I'm heading from Quest. It's quite nice now, I've got away from all the people. Don't like people at the moment. Not necessarily a uh, threat, is that what it's called? But you know, humanity hasn't covered itself in glory in the last few weeks, as you may have noticed on the news. And it's just nice to get away and be by myself for a little while. So, let's have a look at what we've got around here. Okay, there's a warning. I'm going to keep a lookout for golf balls now. Oh, getting uphill. Not seen anyone in a good few minutes, so it's starting to feel a lot better. <laughs> oh, that's it now. I'm just going to be looking out for golf balls everywhere. I've just used to love it as a child. It used to be a golf course outside Owlsbury, Aston Clinton, we used to walk around there to get to a, uh, an orchard. You find golf balls everywhere, all in the ditches. Absolutely loved it. Especially when they're like yellow and orange, quite easy to find. And they're not worth much, but you just get a little buzz out of finding them, don't you? Well, I do. So.
Well, I can safely say this is the race course, and I think I'm going to cross. Oh, there we are. Whew. That was pretty much all the way uphill. I'm going to have a nice bottle of water in there. So this is a interesting looking race course. It's um, it's not like in a circuit or a loop. It seems to be like a a drag straight from that end all the way down here, loop round, and come back again. I've not seen one of those before. Ooh. Oh, that's nasty. Ooh. Earth is that. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go this way. I thought it'd be a little bit more opened up around here. Oh, a path could be through there. It's either there or there. That looks wet and muddy. This looks woody. Oh, wait, there's a bit of a path there. I can see some clear line there. That'd be nice. My last walk was not that great. I uh, did the test way. Walked from Andover to Dunbridge and Mottisfont. Uh, I thought that'd be nice, a river walk all the way along the river. Uh, and as I've seen from other walkers on YouTube channels, they have exactly the same feedback and feelings that I do of the walk. And that is, it's not really a river walk at all. It follows an old uh, rail line. Uh, you've had to even walk past an old station, which someone has looked after in their garden. But that's it. You're surrounded by bushes and trees shrubs even if something does look really interesting where it's like a like a walking through eaves but no not that great when I walk I want to see the expanse of where I am I want to look around me okay, now I can see south down over the chase which I've been looking forward to so I've just noticed bunting in the trees. Probably got blown there from the storms. Now we've reached the ridge. We're starting to see parts of Cranford Chase. The sun's starting to set. This is not what I was expecting. I had an idea from maps and Google Earth images I was looking at that this was going to be like a chalk trail. I mean, look at that. Jesus. I know it's been rainy, I know it's been stormy. This is not what I expected. As you probably noticed, I'm not wearing hiking boots. Uh, I do have some boots. I prefer walking in trainers. Each their own. Whoa. Not looking much better up forward here. I'm going to film this because if I slip, it'd be great content material. A bit of comedy. 
This is absurd. Even if I had boots on, this wouldn't be great. Whoop. Oh my god. Oh tits. Whoop. Hiya. I hope you can all appreciate my sense of balance right now. Here we go, here we go. Whoa! He's done it. Wait there. Any water ingress? No, good. Okay, it's looking a lot better up forward. I think that was the worst of it. Happy days. So yeah, definitely pass the worst of it. As you see, that's uh, looking a lot better up there. I'm a bit annoyed because instead of walking down there, I should have just walk down there. So it's five o'clock, not doing too bad. Temperature's still about 10 degrees. Uh, it says that the wind is uh, 15 miles per hour, but as you can tell, it's uh, definitely picking up. Might even be gusting about 25. That's okay. Still quite warm, not getting cold yet. So, I've left civilization behind, thankfully. To the left of me, Cranford Chase, uh, North Dorset, area of natural beauty, something along those lines. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. To the right of me is Hare Warren Wood. Seen a few Forestry Commission signs saying they're felling ash in the area. It's beige. All I can say about that, really. Seen a couple more squirrels, but I've not seen anyone yet. Oh, tree trunk. Stop there, you have a quick chocolate bar and a drink of water. That's nice. Nice view as well. Look at that. I don't know if you've ever seen these. It's lion wild, sweet and salty. Perfect for this. My ideas in the future, I have lots of trips planned, lots of experiences. It would be basic walks, camping, adventures, exploring. 
few things which I've seen which many people haven't seen, which would be interesting. A bit more interesting than this. I hope this is the first step of a long journey. You can share with me, hopefully. That's why that trail's so flipping muddy. So I've left Hare's Warren Wood. Now I've got open land either side of me, apart from the obvious hedging. I just tried Googling about this old Shaftesbury drove. Didn't seem to be too much information about it. I sank on Wikipedia about what a drove is, uh, which I surmise is where cattle and ox were driven. I was given some dates, uh, 14th and 17th century. Uh, not much else. I mean, if anyone else has any history or links, please feel free to share because I'm always interested in things like that. I'm getting a little worried now. Not quite where I thought I would be at this time. I've just walked past the woodlands. There were some, they look like some great camping spots. I probably want to pitch somewhere with trees and bushes to my south to me from the southeast of this and uh, that would give me my possible disaster of tent a little drier but I've identified a little area because I believe judging by my OS app this is going to become on top of a ridge a slope either side going downwards I think I've spotted an area that's flat uh, like a little U shape of trees, miles away from any houses or roads, perfect. And uh, I should make it there in about 20 to 30 minutes, by which time the sun will have set, but it's all getting dark. So, fingers crossed.
probably think about the same as me. To get inside, it's going to be a bit chilly. Well, I've reached the the area of woods where I think I'll camp. Just looking for a good spot. Uh, tell one thing that's really disappointed me on this walk is all of that. If that's you and you think that's acceptable, you're an ass. You really are a terrible, terrible human being. Terrible. No words, really no words. But yeah, let's have a look where we are. A bit of higher ground here. Wind's really picking up now, my fingers are numb. But there's still plenty of light. Wind's out. Now, even though I wanted to camp over there, I think over here might be better. I've just crossed over some barbed wire. Yeah, I'm not. I am respectful of people's land and territory. I have camped on all sorts of land in the past. I've been caught on all sorts of land in the past. I've never been told off, never been kicked off, uh, never had any negative feelings about it. Because they just look at where I am, they look at my tent, they look around, there's no beer cans, there's no fire left smouldering, damaging, or putting the surroundings in danger. No, I'm respectful. Leave any footprints, take any memories. Ow. Oh. Brambles. You very rarely get me wearing trousers. What are these snowdrops? Lovely. fairly level. Don't know entirely if I want to camp around here. I'm very visible from the road. I'm going to put this away. I'm just going to go for a little ramble through there, see what I can find. Well, this is annoying. I found a really nice spot, but it's south facing. Great to wake up to a view like that, it really would. The sun would be rising over there. This is lovely, absolutely lovely. Not sensible though, really not sensible. Nice and flat, spongy, stones, big logs or anything. Knackers. That continues. So, I didn't pitch up where I thought I might. Not quite happy with some of the areas I've seen. I don't really want to go on people's private land. But it's getting dark. Self camping is now an option. But uh, it's getting chilly, windy. Yeah, I'm loving it. Yeah, I'm not cold. The warmth of the walking is sustaining me. Fingers are numb. But get my tent up and it's all worth it because grey, cold skies, getting a bit moisture in the air, tired, it just oh it just adds up to what I've got for you. I can't wait to I'm so looking forward to it. Hopefully it won't be long. I, I, again I'm just so annoyed. I keep finding great spots. They're all south facing. It's getting annoying. Uh, another big plus point is the further I continue west to find somewhere, it's less walking I've got to do tomorrow when it's raining. So win win really. I'm nearly there. Right. 
this is interesting it's not quite north facing but I don't know if you can see in this light there's a bank of earth there and when you get down below that bank the wind goes back up back down so this is a really not too bad bit of land quite flat yep pitch a tent here now I'm sure you would be absolutely fascinated to watch me put up a tent but I ain't got enough light so I'll whack it up and um, yeah let's get in it so finally in my tent and uh, it's not in bad condition considering I last pitched this tent in 2004 I'm surprised I mean a bit of the elastic has gone around some of the uh, on the outsides um, it's not detrimental it's still pitched quite well tent pegs are a bit rusty but they're all in just about either there's a bit of concrete or rocks or something underneath the area I'm in uh, big problem my fly is broken so the fly, the zipper on the fly, uh, it doesn't run down, I don't know what they're called, no, the zip. Um, fortunately there's Velcro, so I've not put too much tension on the front of the tent, so the Velcro can match up. The front of the tent is facing north, so if the wind is, the rain's coming from the south, then that should keep it less exposed. Um, God, my fingers are cold, my nose is cold, um, but now I'm in here, it's not really that bad. I mean, it must be nice for you listening to me without the noise of the wind past the microphone, but surely you can hear the wind out there, it's very, very loud. But, look at the movement of the tent, it's, that little ridge of land is just sheltering me quite a lot, so that's really quite fortunate. Um, I would like to have found somewhere a little bit better, but this will be fine. This will be fine. Um, got the sleeping bag out. Got my uh, ground sheet out, ground mat. Um, just had a quick banana, which was smushed in my pocket. And I'll give you a tip for you. Never eat a banana while looking someone in the eye. Priceless knowledge there. Right, dinner. Um, now I've settled in. Check the football scores. Disappointing. Um, uh, have a bit of water. Let's check a few things and I'll start cracking on with dinner. Oh god, I can't wait. It's, it's gonna be so good. Right, dinner tonight. Now if you're wondering what this is, this is the inner lining of one of those cool bags you get from the shops. And Everything's nice and cool in there. What I'm going to have tonight is mashed potato and minced beef and onion. So it's just the best thing to have right now. Um, the mashed potato, so minced beef and onion, is in a tin. Don't usually take tins camping, but that's all I've been thinking about really is minced beef and onion, mashed potato. I could have made it myself and put it in a tub, but not that easy to warm up. Let's get it there. Now mashed potato. Oh, a little drink for later. I don't usually drink tins when I'm camping because they tend to make you want to get out of the tent and go to the toilet, which isn't great if it's cold and chilly outside. Plus you don't want to get up and down out of your sleeping bag all night but yeah just this once uh, right so mashed potato the reason I've decanted it into this bag is because I've mixed it with salt and pepper uh, white pepper I'm giving it a good mix if I don't have to worry about bringing anything else or adding it with adding it later
Well, there's my dinner for the night. It's not pretty, but minced beef and onion from a tin. A big pile of mash. I would love to have uh, showed you all the cooking, all the uh, lovely shots of the water bubbling away on the stove, but given the situation at the moment and trying to make sure everything's done quickly before it starts raining, uh, I feel this would be the best option. Uh, gonna eat this and gonna watch a film and chat to you in a bit. About 20 minutes ago, it sounded like a hurricane went through. It's probably going to get a lot windier in an hour. I messed up putting a part of the tent on. Uh, it's like an air vent cover that goes over the fly. And I just kind of assumed it was a square. Yeah, it's not, it's a rectangle. And I put that rectangle on the wrong way, which meant as the wind caught it, it blew it up and blew all the rain in. But that's fixed and no leaks and dry again. <sighs> I've put extra tent pegs in, I've reinforced all the guys because that wind earlier was incredible. And I don't want my tent blowing away while I'm sleeping. So, uh, yeah, if something fun happens, good night. <laughs>